Hello friends, in this video, we are going to discuss about difference between three basic networking devices, which are hub, switch and router. At the end of this video, you exactly know how they work and why and where we use them in our network. So first we look at hub. Hub is a simple and cheap networking broadcast device. Hub are used to connect all of your network devices together and create a LAN network. There are two or more connection points called ports which are used to connect network cables. Let's see how it works. Whenever a PC send data to hub, hub broadcast or repeat that data to all of its ports except the sending one. It works like this. Data come in and data clone come out on all interface of hub and send to all connected devices. Hub is considered not be intelligent because it does not filter any data and does not know where the data is to be sent in the network. Hub is just like a WhatsApp group. If anyone send a message in a group, every member received it. Hub having many disadvantages, one of them waste of bandwidth. So even if this PC want to send data to this PC only in the LAN network, all of the computers also receive the data even that data was not for them. So this is not only create security concern but also create unnecessary traffic on the LAN network which waste bandwidth. Also remember transmission mode of hub is half duplex means devices can't send and receive data at the same time. If two PCs send data at same time it create data collusion and this will cause your data become crap and need to be sent again. So what we learned today? Hub is a physical layer or layer 1 device as per OSI model. Means he has no knowledge of devices MAC address or IP addresses. Hub just forward the bits 0 and 1s. Hub creates single broadcast and client domain in your LAN network. Transmission mode of hub is half duplex. Means only one device can send and receive data at a time. Hub waste bandwidth by sending data to host who don't want it. Hub is a security risk device because all the host received everyone data and hackers can steal this easily. Hubs are old technology and they now be replaced with switches which we look at shortly. Switch Switch are key building blocks for any network like a hub Switch also have many ports to accept Ethernet connections from network devices. But unlike a hub, switch are intelligent. The main difference between hub and switch is, hub is a broadcast device which send data from one PC to all. But switch is unicast device which can send data to a specific host or PC you want. A switch can actually learn the physical addresses of the device data connected to it and store their physical addresses also called MAC addresses in his MAC table. Let's see how it works. Learning This is the process of collecting the MAC addresses of linked devices. Forwarding This is the process of transferring network traffic from one PC connected to one port of the switch to another PC connected to another port of the switch. Let's take an example with small network where we have four PC, PC A, B, C and D. They all connected to a switch. Every switch have something called MAC address table or CAM table. This table will store MAC addresses of each device and on which switch port it connected to. To understand how switch work, we always start with an empty MAC table. Basically, I will show you how switch learn the connected PC MAC addresses and their relevant ports on the switch. Let's say PC A want to send data to PC D only. For that, PC A send the data frame to switch and switch received the data frame from PC A on his port 1. Now switch examine the source MAC address and check in his MAC address table or CAM table. But MAC address table is empty and source MAC address not available in its MAC table. So switch add PCA MAC address into his MAC address table 
with associated port that is port 1 after store source MAC address now the switch check the destination MAC address 2 if destination MAC address is not available in the MAC address table then the switch don't know where to send this data packet in this case switch behave like a hub and broadcast that data to his every port that have device connected except the ingress port then the only destination MAC address PC reply to PC A and all other PC ignore that data now carefully watch what happened when switch receive reply message on his port 4 from PCD then switch again examine the source MAC address into his MAC address table but source MAC address not available in his MAC address table so switch add PCD address into his MAC address table with associated port that is port 4 after that switch check the destination MAC address 2 this time he found destination PC MAC address and its associated port in his MAC table so now this time switch know where to send this data packet so switch send the data to PC A only without flooding or broadcasting on all ports because it's already record the PC A MAC address and his switch port in his MAC table same this way when other devices start communication to each other switch record their MAC address and associated port in his MAC address table and establish one to one communication so what we learned today switch locate on data link layer or second layer of OSI model also switch store and check MAC addresses of connected devices switch increase the bandwidth in a network by using full duplex transmission mode means devices can send and receive data at same time switch used unicost mode to send data unicost mean one to one communication unlike hub switch deliver data to specific host or pc without flooding in the network switch are much secure because only the destination host is receiving the data and other host can't steal it switch lower the chance of frame collision because unlike hub in switch each port having his own collision domain hub and switch create a network router connect the network so let's discuss the router as we know hub and switch are create LAN network but what happened when we need to send data between this LAN network or out of internet that's where router comes in our router does exactly what its name means that is root the data or forward data from one network to another based on their IP addresses that's why router also called the gateway of the network the router is an intelligent device and he performs two basic functions first one is connecting at least two or more different networks and the second one is providing the best path to access another network or the requested content on the internet in these days modern router also perform some other tasks like netting simply called network address translation also they can provide IP addresses to host by using DHCP so you don't need to provide IPs manually to your PC let's see how it work to understand what router do let's take an example here we have small home or office network indicated by green color pieces for your better understanding and it connect to internet with the help of router green color basically representing the private IP address network or LAN network and we have many other network on the internet across the router what happened if this green PC send data packet to his switch and then switch forward that data packet to the router what router did router check the color or basically check the IP address of that data packet and if he belong to the same network router bounce back that data packet to the LAN network but if it belong to any other network then router forward that data packet to destination network as per his routing table also in other hand 
if router receive any data packet from any other network or from internet with same color or same IP scheme as per his LAN network, he received it and all of other data packet, the yellow, blue, red, etc. will be rejected by router because these IP addresses were not matched with his network. So the router is basically the gateway of any network. Now here is an expanded view of the router over the internet. For your better understanding, I took four different network here only indicated by their different colors and they have their own routers along with their switches and computers. So right now they all are able to communicate within their own network with the help of their hub or switches. Now let's go forward and exchange data between different networks. For example, this green network computer want to communicate with this red network computer. So for that, the data packet have to leave their own network and go out on the internet routers. Internet basically a combination of routers and once the data packet reach the gateway router, the router will check the destination IP address of the data packet and then forward the data out on the internet to the next router and then passing from router to router on the internet it make its way to red network router and then reach to the destination server or pc so this is how the router works so that's it and now we go fast on all three devices as you know hub switch and router operate on different layer of osi model to want to know how osi model works or clear your concept regarding OSI model layer, please visit my channel and watch my this video. I will share this video link in the description. Also, I will share this video on end of this video. After watching my video on OSI model, you will know every packet traveling over the internet consists of seven layer of OSI model. The physical layer is just one and zero bits and you know hub just replicate bits in the network. They operate on physical layer or layer 1 of OSI model. The data link layer is specific to medium over which the data packets are traveling such as Ethernet cable or fiber optics. End devices, physical addresses or MAC addresses are part of this layer. Since switches use MAC address to send data into a network, they operate on data link layer or layer 2 of OSI model. The network layer is where logical addressing or IP addresses are assigned to each data packet. As we know router perform their job with the help of IP addresses, they operate on network layer or on layer 3 of OSI model. So when to buy hubs? The answer is never. Don't waste your money. You will get the switch in approximate almost same amount. So always buy the switch for your network. Hub have only one advantage on switch and that is if you want to capture the network traffic for analysis, hub make your job easy. But if you need to connect to any other network or to internet, then you need a router. The main purpose of router is to connect different networks to one another. Router performs some other job also to make your life easy, like netting, which is necessary if you want to connect to internet. Router also have DHCP server on board. Thanks to DHCP, you don't need to manually configure IP addresses for any host in your network. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon. Thank you for watching.